One of the targets in the new health strategy around the Western world is salt. And for a reason. As a matter of fact, your body needs salt to function normally. But an excess leads to raised blood pressure and an increase in the risk of stroke and heart disease. Since prevention is better than cure, the governments have ambitious plans to get the public to consume less salt. But how are we going to do that? And is it possible to eat food with much less salt? Let us find out. The recommendation for salt intake is to limit it to only 6 grams a day, about heaped teaspoon. However, the average intake is closer to 8 grams a day. The statistics suggest that if the 6 gram a day target is achieved, it will prevent over thousands premature deaths each year and save billions in healthcare annually. But food without salt is bland and low-salt products are often bland compared with their standard counterparts. Salt in food gives us that highly desirable lip-licking taste on the tongue that makes food interesting and enjoyable. It also boosts the flavors of food, which is what we experience when we combine the tastes from the tongue with the aromas we detect with our nose. So, can we reduce the salt in our diet, yet keep all the delicious flavors we crave? This is a problem the food industry has been working on for years. Over the last 15 years, a concerted effort by industry and public health campaigns has seen the average salt intake decrease by 10%. Part of this decrease is down to the fact that we are slowly becoming more accustomed to food with less salt. And part of it is down to the fact that scientists now understand more about the perception of saltiness. One approach the food industry has taken is to change the size and shape of the salt particles so that the more of them reach the receptors of the taste buds and the tongue. This addresses the lack of salty taste when the amount of salt in processed food is reduced. But a different approach is needed to address the lack of overall flavor. At home, this can be overcome by adding more herbs and spices. Another trick is to add foods that contain natural flavor enhancers, such as tomatoes or parmesan cheese, and combine these with a low salt soy sauce or tiny amounts of fish-based sauces, such as Worcester sauce, which contains anchovies. This works well because the nucleotides found in the fish and in the soy sauce work together with glutamic acid found in tomatoes or in cheese to give a more powerful savory flavor. We can further enhance the perception of saltiness by adding low level of aromas that we associate with salty foods. This is the savory version of adding vanilla to low sugar products to give the impression that they are sweeter. Researchers have tested complex flavorings as well as single aroma compounds for their ability to make us believe there is more salt in food than there actually is. The aromas that have been tested smell like meat, sardines, cheese or anchovy. And because we associate these foods with saltiness, we perceive the product as saltier, even though no salt has been added. In other words, we can trick the brain into thinking we are tasting salt. There is also a backup plan. Researchers at one university have made an experiment and shown that more we consume no salt soup, the better it tastes. The participants in this study did not particularly like the no salt soup, but after consuming it once a day for a week, participants liked the taste more than when they first tasted it. 
so you can always train your brain to enjoy a low-salt diet. It just takes practice.